Kenya has opened public debate on GMO maize. In a statement published in the dailies, the National Biosafety Authority has urged Kenyans to share their thoughts on the proposed introduction of genetically modified maize, commonly referred to as BT maize, into the local market. This comes on the heels of the government lifting its decade-long ban on GMO crops in 2022, a move that sparked widespread discussions about food security and agricultural practices. The controversy culminated in legal battles, with the courts ultimately ruling in favor of GMOs. Public participation marks a pivotal step in the assessment process as the authority reviews the safety of the product for human and animal consumption. If approved, the genetically modified maize will undergo further testing in different agroecological maize growing zones across Kenya to determine its performance under varying environmental conditions. NBA further explains that BT maize has been developed using modern biotechnology methods to protect itself against specific pests such as the maize stem borers and the full army worms, which are devastating pests in the maize field. The authority also reiterated its commitment to post-release monitoring. Additional evaluations being undertaken include social economic impact assessments related to the BT maize varieties. NBA also adds that, if approved, the authority shall undertake post-commercialization monitoring of BT maize varieties for the entire duration of the approved period to ensure compliance to biosafety laws. Proponents hail GMOs as a game changer for addressing food insecurity. They argue that BT maize can boost crop yield, combat pest infestation and alleviate persistent food shortages. However, however, the move has ignited both hope and skepticism among Kenyans. Critics warn of potential health risks and environmental concerns, including the threat GMOs may pose to traditional maize varieties and biosafety. Public skepticism has only been amplified by fears of multinational corporations dominating the seed market, potentially disadvantaging smallholder farmers. The application for approval was submitted by the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, and the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF, both of which are pushing for BT maize to be commercially available in Kenya. The NBA's public consultation process, which runs until January 11th, provides Kenyans an opportunity to voice their opinions on this controversial issue. However, the authority has yet to set a timeline for its final decision. David Kagina, K24, Nairobi.